you know that moment when you you just sort of feel stuck you're going through the motions you're just trying to get through your day take that that feeling that that memory now multiply that by 40 and that is about the body language of a gentleman that I talked to at Best Buy the other day I went in there to return something very mundane and the customer service representative standing on the other side of the desk, he seemed sort of lifeless. He barely even seemed there. He just seemed so bored and, and kind of down and, and numb. And I knew when it was my turn, you know, just get through the transaction. Don't bother him any more than he already feels and certainly don't be chipper. <laughs> no one likes that person when they're having a rough day. I don't know if you've met me, this is usually the first rule that I cannot follow. I'm standing there just kind of going through the transaction and I notice on his forearm that he has this tattoo. And the tattoo is really interesting. It says, let me see if I can uh, remember it. It says, um, we, we haven't come this far to only come this far. And honestly, without thinking about it, I just said, hey man, I really like your tattoo. That, that really speaks to me. And his, his body language started to shift. He looked at his forearm and he, he became thoughtful and he said, wow, thank you. Um, I got it when I was going through a tough time. In fact, it's, it's weird, I was just looking at it today to remind myself. I said, if you don't mind my asking, what, what led to it? And he said, I was, I was really down, I was depressed. And part of the struggle that I had was really why do I get up every day? Why do I go to work? What am I trying to do with my life? And, and so this, this helps ground me and remind me. And I said, man, I, boy, I really resonate with that in my own life. And, and as I, we were talking, the thing I noticed was that his body language had completely shifted, right? His energy was, was high. He was making eye contact. He was smiling. I felt a real moment of connection in the middle of a Best Buy in the middle of a sort of boring uh, exchange transaction. And, you know, there was kind of this this moment for, I think for both of us of like, wow, this was really nice. And as I usually do at the end of a conversation that feels meaningful when I meet at one of my epiphany people, I said, man, what's your name? And he said, my name is Solomon. And in my head I thought, yeah, of course it is. For some reason when I meet these people, they always have really cool names, really memorable names. They are memorable even if maybe they don't feel like they are. As I, as I walked away, or before I walked away, I was like, man, can I just fist bump you? And, and you know, it's in the middle of a pandemic, I feel like that's the ultimate sign of appreciation and connection is like, I just need, I just need you to know that this was, this was important. As I did walk away, I kind of looked back and you could see that his energy had shifted. He seemed a little bit more focused and centered and, and just uplifted. And I felt uplifted. It's, it's called the helper's high. When you seek to build other people up, you, you feel better yourself. And I was like, wow, we had this great conversation in the middle of a Best Buy. I share that with you because I, I think what it really comes down to is do you take time in your day to just notice the people around you, to just pay closer attention to what they are saying, to how they are standing, and, and really looking for what makes them unique, what makes them beautiful, what makes them special and important, and what matters to them. And just taking that, that little extra step of showing them that you noticed what matters to them and that that is important and meaningful and relevant and worth sharing. Just share that with you because I, I walked out of there feeling very moved and I know I'll remember Solomon for a long time and maybe today his story can remind you to just reach a little deeper, move a little slower and really notice the people around you and look for what matters to them. Build them up and you will be built up in the process.